Hi everybody. This is Constance from Create the Memories. I'm filming at a different location and hopefully everybody can see this all right. I have come across some uh, upholstery fabric that I thought was really nice and I'll show you a few of the books. Couple more. Well, maybe more than a couple more. This one is uh, Silk Anna, so it's a silky satin. more here. This one's got some really gorgeous damask in here. Some really pretty, 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 pretty material. Some of this I'm going to have a hard time parting with because I, I like this book. Um, just gorgeous. Now they all have this plastic on the back but it appears that it will um, papery plastic. It appears it peels off really easy because I've been able to stick my finger right in it, so it looks like it's it's not on really firmly. And I'll just show you one more here. This one is gorgeous as well. Some really pretty, pretty materials. I thought they'd make some gorgeous journal covers. Um, or stuff for inside for tags or pockets or different things like that. And I also came across some wallpaper books. Again, some really gorgeous stuff. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this one here. Um, some really gorgeous papers. Um, beautiful, nice, thick quality papers. Isn't that beautiful? I really like some of these, the roses. Um, most of them are a uh, very similar pattern. This one's got a little bit of a texture to it. Um, and just in different colors, different variants. And there's full sheets. I think that's about, I don't know, 20, 18 by maybe 24 the size of these sheets. They're pretty big. And then of course there's smaller sheets in the books as well. That's that one. This one here, I will try and open it and not hit the camera. Again, some really pretty, pretty um, roses. Even some of the pictures inside of the book I think would be really cool to cut out and use. Um, now, some of the stuff in here I definitely would not use myself, but I'm sure, like this is not me, but somebody out there might really like these. Um, some very pretty stuff. A couple more of these. I just do quick, quick, quick flip through. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Look at the colors. Just gorgeous. And the picture's beautiful. That would make such an awesome uh, card in a book. You know, the page is nice and thick. Even this would make a really cute card in a book. Um, card or tuck spot. Pages are just gorgeous. One more. This one is very uh, can, more contemporary, uh, modern colors. Uh, sorry, I keep hitting the, the tripod. I'm not sure if I like a lot of these uh, papers for me. This one's got a real texture to it, almost a flock, and then this is almost like a, a vinyl. But it's in all sorts of different colors. Um, one day, you know, there might be a journal that that would work for me, but. Uh, 
not today. <laughs> now this one maybe, but uh, you know, and this one's really nice. But a lot of it like this is just not my colors. <laughs> but the pictures are very pretty, you know. Um, now I do have a question and because I would like to put these um, up in my Etsy store but I'm not sure how to package them how people would want them for journals D would you want them packaged by color or would you want to package um, by you know the line of you know they'll show three or four of the same type of pattern but in different colors uh, I'm not sure which would be the best way to package it um, to be able to sell it in the Etsy store. Um, I would love feedback from you guys. Uh, if you were to buy anything, whether it be fabric or wallpaper, sample paper, um, how would you prefer to buy it? Would you prefer to buy, you know, a package of all purples or, you know, a package of the paper that goes all together, you know, the where it's the stripe and the flower and the and the whatever in the one package that goes together um, sets that way. Um, just trying to figure it out. I'm not sure which way to go. I know I'm gonna pick out stuff that I really like that I wanna keep, but the balance I really wanna put in the Etsy store and I found some shipping tubes um, at Staples, um, about 18 inches long and there's some that are 24 inches long. So, and they're not that expensive. Now Canada Post for shipping from Canada is a little expensive but I'll try and do some calculations and see which is the best way to ship this out. Um, your feedback would really love it. I've never sold this type of stuff before, so I'm trying to figure out which way to go here. Thank you, and sorry about my phone snapping there, but uh, of course, whenever you do a video, that's when your phone's gonna go off. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Thank you.